Welcome back, everyone. This is our one-week update, being the second wash of our 25-way graphene products comparison and longevity test. As you can see, we've had a little bit of rain in the last week. You can see some water spots on the hood already. I'm not going to get into the water spot resistance just yet. We're going to do that at the 30-day or the month mark. You can see there absolutely are some differences here. Let's go ahead and get to the wash. We'll first foam it down with Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Then we will rinse, foam it again, and then wash with our Australian Sheep's Wool Wash Mitt before rinsing everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties. Links in the description as to the products I'm using here to wash, just in case you're interested. Alright, on to the hydrophobic properties of everything. Drive Auto Nano, 4.2 graphene spray, looks like it's showing a little signs of weakness already. 303 graphene, the new and the old, doing okay. Pre-production sample A, very hydrophobic. Glosset doing great. The two samples on pre-production B doing okay. IGL Easy Graphene, extremely hydrophobic. 4210H, that's the Chinese, one of the Chinese ones. Ilho 12H, looks like, not gonna call it failed yet, but it's getting very close. It was weak at the very first wash. Drive Auto Graphene, looks like it's got a little bit of water that's sticking on, but yeah, see, Ilho, it's more of a hydrophilic instead of hydrophobic effect. So not quite failed, but we'll we'll leave it on there for now. Ethos Resist, doing great. Adams 9H, graphene doing great. Extreme Solutions Graphene Spray, you can see that there is there is a little bit of water sticking to it already. Not to the point where we can call it weak or anything, but it's getting there. Glass Parency, graphene spray, very hydrophobic. IGL, Kenzo, non-graphene and graphene both look like they're doing very good. IGL, Kenzo, graphene, glass parency, Graphene, also doing great. Extreme Solutions Graphene Coating, not this, these are, the coating's not the sprays on this row. Adams 10 Age and Ethos also doing great. Turtle Wax Graphene from the promo kit that they sent all the YouTubers and the one that I purchased, you can see they're performing similarly and there's actually a little bit of water that sticks there briefly before it falls off. So it's not, not as hydrophobic as some of these other coatings. But again, this is a paste, like more like a traditional wax, but it removes much easier. SPS Graphene, very hydrophobic. They're one of the original, or the originators, in the graphene coatings market. This coating, I believe, has been out for over two years, maybe three. You can see turtle wax compared to SPS. You see how the water sticks just a, a brief while longer than it does on the others around it. And turtle wax, max wax, and flex wax also doing great. No issues there. So there is your week update. And I had some people ask about the water hardness. And so on this test, since water spot, water spotting resistance is a lot of why the, what they market and push in these graphene products. We're not going to use deionized water when we wash this hood. And I will show you that here in just a minute. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and dry everything off using our MetroVac Master Blaster. It's an eight horsepower, dual motor, forced air, heated and filtered air dryer. I'm, I'm not gonna change this part of my wash process, so you know we can minimize potential water spots from the washing using this method. We're not just gonna leave it on there. People were asking how the hoods were stored. Each time I wash it, I rotate them so they're not always just sitting upright. For example, this week after I was done washing, they're gonna sit like this. I have my daughter helping me here. So this is the same hose that we use to wash everything. I'm gonna fill it here and I have a meter that measures TDS or total dissolved solids. It's the parts per million of mineral content. So you can see our water here this is just out of the tap, 204, 203, 204 parts per million. So based on what I'm reading, at 203 parts per million, we have very hard water. Good information to know as you go west, we're in East Texas, as you go west in Texas, it gets even harder. As to compare to, for example, bottled drinking water, which should have in the area of 26, 27 parts per million. Anything above 20 parts per million will water spot on paint. If it's below that, it won't be visible. And here's our CR spotless deionized water that we usually would feed our water through, zero parts per million. Brings the mineral content down to zero. As always, we have our spreadsheet that will be included and a, as a Google Docs Excel file, it, the link to it is in the video description. So you can go and check that out. There are Amazon Associates links as to where you can buy it through that spreadsheet and anything in the video description, you can see where to purchase these products. If it's not through Amazon, it's through the manufacturer's website or elsewhere. So there you go guys, stay tuned. Really appreciate you watching and next update will be here in a week.